Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, for bringing my bill, the Deborah Sampson Act, to the floor, and I thank the ranking member uh, for his support as well. In 1782, Deborah Sampson disguised herself as a man so she could serve in the Revolutionary War to protect and defend our democracy. She was wounded in that war. Her forehead had a gash from a sword, and she was shot in the leg. But serving as a man made her invisible. Too many decades later, Congress finally granted her petitions for the benefits she deserved, and she became one of the first American women recognized for her military service. Women have served on land, air, and sea in every conflict in our nation's history, yet their remarkable and brave service is often overlooked. Through my work as chair of the Women Veterans Task Force, I have met with countless women veterans across the country who, like Deborah Sampson, feel invisible. Their service often goes unnoticed, while veteran men around them are always thanked. And sadly, women veterans are often harassed when they go to the VA for help. This denies them the equitable access to the benefits and care they have earned and deserved. On a recent visit to VA's only women-centric residential substance abuse rehabilitation program, an Army veteran told me the program saved her life. When women-focused resources exist, women veterans use them and they thrive. That is why this bill is vital for America's two million women veterans. It will ensure that women have consistent access to comprehensive, gender-specific care and services. It will help stop harassment and ensure that women veterans are fully recognized for their service. In 1836, John Quincy Adams stood on the House floor and called Deborah Sampson's heroism, fidelity, and courage of the very highest and noblest order. Congress recognized Deborah Sampson's service and in doing so ensured that she was no longer invisible. To America women veterans of today, I stand here to say we see you and you are invisible no longer. I'd like to thank representatives Allred, Brindisi, Correa, Cunningham, Delgado, Levin, Lee, Pappas, Rose, Underwood, uh, uh, Velasquez, and Wild who contributed to this legislation. And I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 3224 to fully recognize and honor women veteran services. With that, thank you, Mr. Chair, and I yield back.